Welcome to a science lesson. This is for fifth standard, and we had stopped at the third lesson, bones and muscles. Let's get further. Please open your textbooks on to page one eighty six. Now, we are going to listen to the first heading there, skull. Now you see the picture of a skull. This part of your head is known as the skull. Now, when you look at your face, or when you watch my face, you can see my eyes, my nose, my lips, my teeth, and my ear. Now, this is the outward uh, features of my face. Now, when a body decays or decomposes, all these, you know, flesh or the skin, everything is gone. Then you have only the bones remaining. And then when you look at the bones, you will see the picture that is shown in the textbook on page 186. Now you will see where the eyes are there, you have the two sockets, but no eyes. Then in place of the nose, the nose is actually, this part is a cartilage. There is only again a sort of a opening. And the jaws are there, the lips are there, it's gone, but the jaws and the teeth are there. So that is the picture of the skull that you see in the textbook. Now let's go on to see about the skull on page 186. The skull protects the delicate brain. So this part of the head has the brain inside. So the brain is the most important organ in the skull because brain does a lot of functions. It does the function of thinking, speaking, even sleep, your movements, everything is related to messages received and sent from the brain by the nervous system. So, the skull protects the delicate brain. All the bones of the skull are fixed except the lower jaw. Now, this uh, skull, your head is fixed, your you know, neck is not fixed, but back part is fixed, you can't move. But this lower jaw of yours is movable. The upper jaw is fixed, only this lower jaw in the skull is a movable bone. This enables us to speak and chew food. Now that is why we are able to speak because we can move the lower jaw. Next is the rib cage. Now when you feel your body, you can just touch this part, you can feel the ribs. And the ribs are giving protection to the lungs and the heart. The most important organ in the body is the heart of course. Once the heart stops, we all stop. So it is the most important organ that starts beating from the time uh, a baby is conceived till our last moment. So it is a working organ that goes on non-stop working and it is protected by the rib cage. So let us look at the rib cage. There are 12 pairs of thin, flat and curved bones called ribs. The ribs join to form a cage called the rib cage. The rib cage provides protection to our lungs and heart. So these two organs, the lungs which uh, is the main part of the respiratory system and the heart which is the main part of the circulatory system are protected by the rib that forms the rib cage. Next you come to the backbone. If you touch your back, you can know there are a lot of bones that help you to sit, stand, bend. All these bones form the vertebral column and inside the vertebral column, you have the spinal cord. That's a very important part of our body. That is why when many people, they fall down on their back, there's an injury to the spinal cord, then they are bedridden. They cannot get up, they cannot move. If a serious injury is there for the spinal cord, the people get bedridden. Now, coming to backbone. The backbone of the spine is made up of 33 small bones called vertebrae. They form a column called the vertebral column, which protects our spinal cord. So this vertebral column, inside the vertebral column, you have the spinal cord, which is a very important organ in our body. Then coming to the limbs, that is your hand and your legs. The li arms and the legs together are called limbs. They are made up of many long 
and small bones. The bones of the upper leg is the longest bone in the body. The upper and lower arm join at the elbow. This is the elbow. The upper and lower leg meet at the knee. So knee joint is also very important because if anything happens to the knee joint, we may face a lot of pain. I have to undergo surgery also sometimes. So I'm going to stop here because the next lesson will be about joints where I have to take more uh, in detail. So before that, the homework for today for you will be to draw the picture of upper and lower arm and upper and lower leg in the notebook and take a photo and send to the school WhatsApp number. Now, regarding the second homework, that is your reading homework. Please read page 186 and take a voice message and send to the school WhatsApp number. Now, for your help, I am going to read once again. Please follow. Skull. The skull protects the delicate brain. All the bones of the skull are fixed except the lower jaw, which is movable. This enables us to speak and chew food. Rib cage. There are 12 pairs of thin, flat and curved bones called ribs. The ribs join to form a cage called the rib cage. The rib cage provides protection to our lungs and heart. Backbone. The backbone of the spine is made up of 33 small bones called vertebrae. They form a column called the vertebral column which protects our spinal cord. Limbs. The arms and the legs together are called limbs. They are made up of many long and small bones. The bone of the upper leg is the longest bone in the body. The upper and the lower arm join at the elbow. The upper and lower leg meet at the knee. Skull. The skull protects the delicate brain. All the bones of the skull are fixed except the lower jaw which is movable. This enables us to speak and chew food. Rib cage. There are 12 pairs of thin, flat and curved bones called ribs. The ribs join to form a cage called the rib cage. The rib cage provides protection to our lungs and heart. Backbone. The backbone of the spine is made up of 33 small bones called vertebrae. They form a column called the vertebral column which protects our spinal cord. Limbs. The arms and the legs together are called limbs. They are made up of many long and small bones. The bone of the upper leg is the longest bone in the body. The upper and the lower arm join at the elbow. The upper and lower leg meet at the knee. Thank you. This is all for today.